to you then. So you probably wonder what I'm up to. Well, I'm about to hack this phone. And it's gonna be fun because its applications are locked and I'm gonna show you how to unlock it. So are you with me? So let's go and do it. Ah. No, actually, guys, it's a little bit more simple than that. If you see recently, uh, there was a few applications showing you how to uh, lock your application using Tasker and fingerprint sensor and how to unlock it. But turns out it's pretty easy to bypass it and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And no, you don't need a computer to do this. No gloves. It's actually quite simple. The profile showcased online was very simple. It would open an app and ask you for a fingerprint read. Um, or you can set it up for password as well, it doesn't matter. And then you can continue providing your faster authentication. If you fail this, then obviously application would close and you would return to the home screen as shown as an example. Now the problem is that uh, it is possible to bypass it and you don't have to do that much actually to, to escape this. So what you have to do really is just open the application and go to the um, screen split mode. So if you're on Android uh, 7 or more or your support or your device that supports split screen you should be able to create something like this. Stick the application in one split screen, open it in another, and then continue typing. Simple enough. See, works well. Another user suggested creating a shortcut on the screen that would uh, require passwords to open the application. However, you can simply just uh, call the command from Google Voice screen and it will open surely the application bypassing it, even if you hide the application from the app drawer or you can simply access it from the latest um, used programs in Android uh, section. So this is what I'm proposing. Uh, for this example, I choose Chrome as an example. I just locked the Chrome, it was working. Now you see the Chrome just crashed on me. That prevents me actually from opening it uh, from any screen. So I can just go to the app drawer, go to the recent tabs, and I no longer can access the Chrome, the split screen doesn't work anymore. I cannot recall it from app drawer or um, just generally open it in any way. Now, if I obviously unlock the um, Chrome using the button, then it will return to the normal operations. Uh, for this profile, I've got a password set up and I've got a set up fingerprint reader, so you can secure your application these ways. There's a trick to it and it comes with two caveats. Uh, you cannot receive any notification from the application that you're gonna lock this way. And you can lock multiple applications with a single click and unlock multiple applications using the simple uh, click as well. As you can see, I've just unlocked it on the screen, click on the Chrome and it works again flawlessly. And this is also a quick test just to show you how to do it with the password. All you have to do is just click on the password, unlock, and then uh, obviously enter your password. If you fail to enter, it will prompt you to, to enter the correct one. And for this profile, the password is one, two, three, four. So, you know, not much of a hacking really. Anyway, the application is unlocked. Now, how does it work? Well, it's a bit cheating, really. If a person know how we did this, obviously they will be able to restore the application itself. Uh, but the simple user unaware of how we did this trick won't be able to really access your files. Let's open a file viewer and see what happened in application folder. If you scroll down all the way to the bottom, uh, you will see something interesting popping in there. So uh, these are not the files you are looking for. That's the folder actually that contains a Chrome. Because applications can be large, I've not moved up location of the application. I simply rename the folder name, rendering the application and all the shortcuts useless. You will need a root access in order to do so. There are three tasks in this profile, and one to lock it, two to unlock it, uh, one with a finger, one with a password. And uh, things to notice, um, the application won't be connecting to anything, so you're not going to receive any notifications. If you lock the SMS that way, you're not going to receive any messages uh, via this uh, application, so something to remember, really. Um, that could be a good thing, that could be a bad thing, depending on your setup. Hope that helps you. Take two, everyone. At some point, I reckon, 
because my window's open, someone's gonna call the police because I'm looking really dodgy right now. Looking good? Looking good. Awesome.